Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So I've recently posted um, a video, well actually a couple of videos, about the rear hub on a Hyundai Ioniq Electric because we were having errors on the dash and it turned out to be the rear wheel sensor but Hyundai don't sell this sensor, you have to buy the whole hub. So I've done that in our car some weeks ago now, um, a couple of months ago actually I think it was now and um, someone has just posted on one of those videos that he's seen this sensor for sale so thank you Richard I've had a look on eBay and you're right that sensor is available but uh, Hyundai well Hyundai UK will not sell that part so in this video I'm just going to see whether this comes out and whether that's viable that you can change the sensor without changing the whole hub So if you want to watch my original video for that, then the link is uh, at the top of the video there and in the description. So to recap then, that whole hub uh, cost me 171 quid, but I get a little bit of a discount for trade. The retail price of that hub from Hyundai, including that, is 190 pounds. So um, generally uh, with cars, a sensor would cost you 30 or 40 pounds or so. So it's quite an expensive job. And what you're getting is that whole rear hub and rear wheel bearing when you just want to replace that sensor. So this part that Richard has seen on eBay is 36 pounds. So a much cheaper fix but uh, you've got to take all this apart anyway. Take your rear wheel off, the caliper um, your disc and then unbolt this to get uh, this whole hub assembly out uh, so a garage isn't going to change that they're just going to change the whole single part but if you want to do it yourself uh, I'm going to see whether you can get this out I don't have any other tools other than a hammer and chisel I have had a little go and it looks like that is starting to break but this sensor obviously is pushed in and it is a very tight seal so I've gone round with a um, wire brush cleaned it up I've also checked the numbers on the top and it is the same numbers as that eBay part so it is the same item and I'm just going to see whether it's viable to um, remove this so obviously if you are going to do this then it doesn't matter about breaking the sensor if of course you've got the new one so you're going to want to get your your um, screwdriver or whatever you're using in on the plastic and not on the metal because it doesn't matter about damaging that because you're going to push a new one in and I'd imagine if you're going to get the new one in you're going to want some sort of press to push that in nice and evenly but anyway let's get the hammer and chisel on it and see if this comes out Yeah, that's coming. Okay, so it's, that is meant to be in there I would assume, looking at the pictures on eBay, so when it's spinning, yeah, maybe not. I don't know how this sensor is working. That's sealed in there. Uh, maybe it's magnetic. So yes, this does come off uh, relatively easily. 
and that would push back on there relatively easily but I'm not sure how this is working but anyway simple answer is yes obviously I'm not going to put this back in our car because I've already done the job um, I'm not going to buy that new part but anyway if you want to have a go at this yourself and you want to change that rear sensor then I would suggest have a go Also by looking at this I just say that our car has done 98,000 miles or so when I change this so this wheel bearing has done 98,000 miles and you can see all that grease in there all nice and clean and yeah the the wheel bearing itself I need two hands to spin that but yeah the wheel bearing itself is all very nice and smooth no play in it whatsoever really tight you really wouldn't know that's done the mileage so i think that's it for uh, this video just to recap this rear hub assembly is from our 2017 hyundai ionic electric 28 kilowatt hour and the writing on the back of this sensor um i think that says pa 66 gf 35 it's not actually the part number, but I've had a look at that other one on eBay and zoomed into the pictures and it's got the same lettering on there. Um, but anyway, I'll flash that item up on the screen and I'll put it in the description below. So, uh, as always, if you found this video useful, please do click that thumbs up uh, on YouTube because that allows other people to find the channel. And if you've done this job and replaced that sensor alone without the whole um, hub assembly, then do let me know and um, I'm sure that will work because as you can see there there's no wires there's nothing at all linking that lot to that lot so it clearly must be um, magnetic so yeah that's going to do the job just change that item instead of the whole thing anyway I'll see you on the next video